We're in uh, just north of Vincennes, Indiana at the Southwest Purdue Ag Center. I'm standing in front of the Downey Milduk Cucurbit Sentinel plot. Uh, this plot uh, is like many others across the eastern U.S. It's designed to uh, be scouted every week or so, and, and that's what I do, to look for symptoms of downy mildew, which is what we'll be talking about today. So if you look at a leaf like this, it looks almost like squares or triangles, and that's because these lesions are bordered by the, by the veins. It's not necessarily at the edge of the leaf, Oftentimes, it's along the vein because the area along the vein uh, tends to keep moist longer. And then, if the conditions are moist, and you turn it over, you'll be able to see uh, the sporulation, the fungus growing on the back of these lesions, and that's uh, diagnostic. Uh, that's how I use to identify whether this is downy mildew or not. Downy mildew is caused by a fungus, or what actually is a fungus-like organism, that does not overwinter in Indiana and has to blow into Indiana every, every year. So that's why it's important that we have these sentinel plots for the growers uh, to keep track of, of where the downy mildew is across the U.S. They can go to this website. And this website will show a map of all the places that are scouted across the U.S. Uh, whether uh, downy mildew has been established with, observed in that site or not. Now, downy mildew is, is favored by relatively cool conditions, anywhere from 59 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and as little as six hours of moisture a night. Well, in, in August and into September, uh, it's pretty typical to have these kind of foggy, uh, dewy uh, nights and into the morning, and that's plenty of time for uh, the, the fungus to get established. It's easily air, airborne to different leaves. Uh, it, it, it'll settle on that leaf, and if there's adequate moisture and adequate temperature, the disease will start, and it can uh, get going, and in a very short amount of time, uh, destroy a field. There are three varieties of cucumbers in this, uh, this cucurbit sentinel plot here. The variety in front of me is uh, very much affected by the uh, downy mildew. As you can see, that uh, it, there's a severe infection there. But the two varieties in back of me have, are so far completely unaffected. That's because they have host resistance to downy mildew. Uh, so this is another good point that it is possible with cucumbers to pick varieties that have resistance to downy mildew. So if this is a problem, if you're growing cucumbers in Indiana late in the year, you may want to look for varieties that have resistance to downy mildew. In deciding whether to apply a fungicide, to control downy mildew and to reduce the severity or prevent downy mildew, it's important to think about when the downy mildew came in the plot and when you expect to harvest. So for example, if downy mildew comes in mid-season and it's destroying the leaves, are you afraid it will destroy the leaves? Then certainly consider a, a, a fungicide, specialized fungicide application. However, if the fruit and the crop is already made, you're, you're just a few weeks from, from picking it, then it, there's really no need to apply a fungicide because although downy mildew will affect the foliage, it won't affect the fruit directly.